Hey guys, it's Ben again with another video. And today we are going to learn to wash cloth and sanitize disposable masks. Now, before we begin with this, let's take a quiz. How often are you actually supposed to wash these cloth masks? Is it A, every month, B, every week, C, multiple times per week, or D, every use? Holy crap, I'm screwed. And the answer is Oh my gosh, it's a freaking miracle me even alive. Oh crap. Uh, apparently it's D. So let's go ahead and begin with this video today. To wash masks in a mechanical machine is pretty easy, even going by CDC guidelines. You can go ahead and throw your masks in with any regular wash that you would normally do. The catch though is that you want to make sure that you use the hottest cycle possible on your washing machine for the water. So we want to make sure that we select the hot cycle and we only put clothes in that are appropriate for that hot cycle. So you don't want to put wool or linens or some types of polyester in this load. Make sure that you only put things that can handle a hot wash. But otherwise, you can put this in just like normal. And we're doing a small load, so it's not going to be too big of a deal. I may throw in one or two other things. Next, you can use whatever your regular detergent is. If you have a high efficiency washer, make sure it's high efficiency. Or if it's not, use non-high efficient laundry detergent. So in today's video, I'm using these Tide Pods and it looks like they are grape and lemon lime, which I don't want to eat today, but we will go ahead and throw one in with our masks. And really all we have to do now is go ahead and start and run a regular wash cycle. Again, I'm not putting much in it, so this will be a pretty fast wash. I've confirmed my hot cycle here. Yours may have a push button and it's an extra small load, so we're gonna go ahead and wash these clothes. And while we are waiting for the washing machine to get done, this video is primarily for cloth masks. If you have an N95 mask, this video isn't for you, but either way, I'm an appliance repair guy and not a medical doctor, so take this video with a grain of salt for entertainment value alone. Once you pull the masks out of the washer, you can throw them into the dryer along with your other cotton clothing. But just like the washing machine, you want to set your dryer to the highest heat setting possible and only use clothing that's compatible with this highest heat setting on your dryer. Now, depending on the dryer, this could be a medium heat, regular heat, high heat, sanitize, or another similarly labeled heat setting. Either way, the higher the setting, the better the sanitization. Using CDC guidelines for hand washing masks is pretty easy, and a DIY mask washing station only takes bleach and some cheap containers like these Rubbermaid containers. I wanted to say using Tupperware containers, but they may actually be too fancy even for this video. My tip on the containers is to make sure you get the ones that are approximately one quart or one liter for those watching from somewhere else outside of the states. The importance here is because you are going to be using bleach to sanitize the cloth masks and a one quart container exactly like these are the absolutely perfect size for a single mask. With the water measured out, we now want to add four teaspoons of bleach to the mixture. It's important to note that with the bleach, you need a concentration of sodium hypochlorite between 5.25% and 8.25%. Not every bleach has this concentration, especially with the bleaches that have fragrance in them, so always make sure to check before you buy. On the standard bottle of bleach, I found that two capfuls is equivalent of four teaspoons of bleach needed to properly sanitize the mask. Proper mixture of bleach and water in the container, you can now add the mask that needs sanitized. Just make sure to put it in and seal it in with the lid. I made sure to shake the container a little bit to ensure that the mask was fully immersed in water so it covered everything. 
Once it's immersed in the bleach water mixture, store it for about five minutes somewhere nearby. Once that time frame is up, you can go ahead and remove the mask from the mixture, drain the mixture, and then clean the mask off with cool running water to remove the rest of the mixture. Make sure to do this part or you'll find that your mask is a shade or three lighter than when you cleaned it. Ask me how I know. Now let the mask air dry until all the water has been fully removed and now you're ready to wear your hand wash mask or masks all over again. Now the last thing we're going to do is sanitize a single use or disposable mask. You may be surprised but these can actually be sanitized but not cleaned and there is a difference. To do this you're simply going to take a disposable mask and put it in a plain brown paper bag. Make sure the mask is not crushed and that there is a little bit of room for air in the mask. You want to use one bag per mask. Once you've done this, you're going to isolate the bagged mask for no less than two days, but preferably three days. This will, according to health researchers, kill the viruses on the mask. It won't clean dirt or other stains on the mask, so use this method only as a last resort as needed. Now once you're done, dispose of the brown paper bag properly by throwing it away. As you can see, washing and cleaning a mask really isn't that difficult to do. It only takes a few minutes and really doesn't need to be much different than the other clothes you wash unless you don't have a washing machine. If you want more information on proper mask cleaning, make sure to check the description below. If you think masks are a secret government conspiracy, comment on the feed. And if you'd rather prefer see us wash something else like money, subscribe and check out the other videos where I do just that. Have a great day.